Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sandy, and I am pleased to bring you some footage of Battlefield 4 on the Xbox One. Now, I was actually pretty shocked by how good this game looks, because I was, I've was i been playing it on the PC since it came out back, you know, like four weeks ago or whatever, and I was expecting some massive drop in quality, but no, the game looks great, and it is running at 60 frames per second. You know, besides some scenes where it dips, just like on a PC, there's just crazy stuff going on in this game, so it will dip, but for the majority of the time, it's definitely high 50s and 60 FPS, so that is awesome news to me. And, um, the motion blur is on, which on the PC I usually turn off. I think that's kind of a resource hog, but I know it does look good. So, I'm not a big fan of motion blur, but this game absolutely looks great and oh yeah a couple videos ago I put up a little comparison with the whole Xbox 360 versus Xbox one graphics and I can't believe the comments people get very defensive about which console someone chooses see I don't really get that because what are these four or five hundred dollars or so and you know you're not really you're not getting a powerhouse for that kind of money you never will so compared to a PC, both of these consoles are kind of, you know, they're not that good. And it's rightfully so because they don't cost, they cost like, you know, one third the price of a good gaming computer. And, you know, like if you want the best gaming experience, it's clearly on the PC. But a console to me is, is for social, it's for fun. That's the only way I view it. That's why I don't really get how people could get so defensive about it. Yes, it's known for months that the PS4's hardware is better. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, we're looking at percentages better when compared to other hardware that's out right now. So, over the next few years, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. But regardless, like I said, I don't really care about that. I think consoles are for fun. They're social, they're interactive. And I can't imagine looking down on someone for choosing, let's say, they chose a PS4, I chose an Xbox. So what? I mean, <laughs> I don't get it. You guys could fill me in on that. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's just for fun. Like, my friends got an Xbox One, so I got an Xbox One. Nothing else to it, really. If they got a PS4, I would have got a PS4. Anyway, that rant is over. Back to the gameplay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm running around. I'm playing some Domination, which right now the servers are on like a 10v10. And I'd prefer 16 versus 16 for a 32 player server. I think that works a bit better. But right now they're on a 10v10. They'll probably change it soon, I hope. Because uh, you could go a couple moments without seeing people, but that's fine. You gotta get used to playing the game anyway. I know the maps already, but for people who haven't played it, you know, it helps to not just get shot when you spawn. Now, if you're watching this video and wondering why I'm turning around like an absolute slug, <laughs> That would be my own fault. I had to lower the sensitivity because I'm still trying to get used to the controller that came with the Xbox One. I'm used to the scuff back on the 360. It had the domed thumbsticks. So it's going to take a little while to get used to the regular indented ones. Other than that, I think it's a great controller. No problems with it. And back to the game itself. Uh, people ask me what I think of it after getting a couple hours in. I think it's great. It's just like the PC version. It's really very similar. Yeah, the controller layout is different. You get used to it after a little bit. But I can honestly say it's an excellent port over to the console. And I would highly recommend it to people. Especially if you're into things like vehicles and crazy explosions. You could see me running around with the tubes in this game. I just like blowing buildings up. Probably my favorite part is, let's say there's like a sniper sitting up. In like an elevated position you know that back in call of duty you see that all the time you get shot and you just die and this you can pull out the tubes or the rockets and freaking blow up the room that they're sitting in i love that now the tube is not overpowered which is good like you gotta hit them quite a few times to kill them it's really for taking down structures and stuff i think it's awesome now, I want to ask you guys, would you like to see live gameplay of this? Kind of like confirming kills live, but playing a little Battlefield 4? I know Call of Duty is always the most YouTube-friendly game, because some matches, even domination matches, could go on for about 15 minutes in this. 
but I really enjoy playing it, and Fika actually likes playing it too, so if you guys like to watch it, maybe I'll put up a couple videos of it. Otherwise, it's kind of the game to relax to, and like I said in a previous video, this game does require strategy to win, and it's unlike Call of Duty where you could just run in and, you know, guns blazing, kill the whole other team, get a kill streak. No, like, if you kill two guys, there's a good chance you're gonna die, and that's fine. They're different games. And I find Battlefield to be very relaxing, no, you know, tension. I don't find anyone getting frustrated in the game. Although, actually, one of my favorite parts, on the Xbox One at least, the Kinect acts as a microphone, and I don't think people realize that it's on, so you will hear people screaming and stuff. I don't know how they could get frustrated at this game, though. Regardless, I'd like to know if you guys want to see more, and also, would you want to see Forza gameplay? I don't have Forza, but I hear a lot of good things about it, so I'm thinking about picking it up. So let me know what you want to see, because uh, right now I'm just playing a lot of Call of Duty, obviously, and some Battlefield. And, you know, if you want to see something else, just tell me. So, have a good day. Thanks for coming by, guys. I'll see you.